Jonathan Lee Riches investigates driving through the campus of Washington State University. There has been a mystery going on lately on this campus. Multiple deaths have been reported on this campus just this year alone, 2023. A second death just happened. Don't forget, right off the campus, another individual in December of 2022, Brent Kopaka, had a standoff with police in his apartment complex right off of campus. What is going on at Washington State University? I am touring the area looking for any clues and signs about Brian Kohlberger who worked on this campus right here, Washington State University. He was a teacher's assistant, had an office. What is going on at the Washington State University campus, Pullman, Washington? I am driving around. I want to share with everyone a Fox News report about the latest death that just occurred on the Washington State University campus. Check this out. Fox News is reporting Brian Kohlberger's alma mater, Washington State University, rocked by second campus death. What is happening in Pullman this year? A WSU student wrote on Facebook comment, Washington State University has recorded its second death on campus so far in 2023, months after one of its former students, Brian Kohlberger, was accused of killing four students at a nearby University of Idaho in their off-campus home, November 13, 2022. WSU police on Thursday responded to a call from the Stevenson Complex on campus, a residence, residence hall that houses all majors with a focus on first-year STEM students and located a deceased male upon arrival. It's the second death reported on campus so far this year after Luke Morgan Tyler a WSU freshman was found dead in one of the Pullman campus's residence halls on January 22nd. What is happening in Pullman this year? A WSU student said in a comment on a campus police department's Facebook post, there is no known threat to the Pullman Washington college community at this time. And the WSU police department is working with the Whitman County coroner's office to investigate the person's death. Police said in a police Facebook post. So second death reported at Washington State University. What is going on here, people? The coroner just came out and said the victim of that death was an individual by the name of Theodore Clarkston, 19 years old. He offed himself. Very, very sad situation. Now, could this just be normal. Universities have multiple students. A lot of people have issues. A lot of people struggling with particular reasons, unknown, some known. Or is this a pattern of something going on? Not sure. Just wanted to bring this to your attention that the second death occurred. Brian Kohlberger lived right off campus there at the Steptoe Apartments, worked and went did teaching at the Department of Criminology on the campus. Is there a pattern? Will we see more deaths occur? I hope not. Or is this just all just coincidental? Is there a connection? That's what I'm asking. Is there a connection in any way to these deaths? I want to think no. I want to think that none of these people that died, even Brent Kopaka, even though Brent Kopaka was off campus, but he's right off campus. Any of these people that were connected in any way, is there something bigger here going on at Washington State University? I am monitoring the situation. I want to know your thoughts on all of this, the new reported death. What happens if there's going to be another one? What happens if there's another one that happens a, you know, a month down the line or two months down the line? Um, you know, I want to think of the Ted Bundy case and, and, and different bad actors out there that preyed on um, people out there. 
you know, there is instances out there where people off themselves, uh, you know, that it appears that they off themselves, but somebody actually, you know, did something bad to them and, and, and kind of frame the crime scene. Do you know what I'm saying? That does happen. Has Is it happening with this? Is there copycats in the Washington State area? Probably not. Most campuses are safe, but there is a pattern going on here at Washington State University, and I know a lot of you guys are monitoring it, just like me, and I wanted to bring this to your attention, give you a little bit of my thoughts about it. I've been driving around that campus. Everyone I encountered on a campus uh, were nice and friendly. I was walking around where Brian Kohlberger worked. It's, it's, it's very clean. It seems peaceful, so I can't imagine why these things happen. But a lot of people also struggle uh, with, you know, a lot of pressure in life, young students, uh, maybe a combination of medications. <sighs> you know, it's, it's, it's sad. And, you know, if you are struggling out there, you know, there is hope. Surround yourself with positive people. It will get better. So this is just for anyone out there that is, is struggling. Just know that there's hope and, it, you know, you can battle through what you're going through. And you have your whole life ahead of you. And this goes to anyone on any college out there. Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I'll bring you more information as it comes available. Stay tuned.